down here. No, you can't go to Rainbow Zone down there. That's the modulation. It, oh. it won't go up to Rainbow Zone. So this this one takes you up to the Rainbow Zone. Can I go? Can I do another? Uh, what do we got? This this one is the modulation happens at a much slower pace. What do you else do? Okay, so you want that one to actually be lower. Yeah, this the the modulation is only sampled by the um, the the oscillator at once per horizontal scan line. Okay, so that's the limitation. So like so that's so the, the thing being fed in um, it can go faster than horizontal, but it's only sampled once per horizontal. Where's so. the square wave going? Oh, uh, that's going over here for test and other stuff. Okay, so this one's free, so we can yeah. then we can we can composite this one too, no? Where's Into where? where? Is it being mixed in the tab? Oh, the tab is full. Well, there's three tabbies. Well, where is it being mixed down? He's not using the tab I'm not in mix the mixing the, mode. The, oh. the tab is creating the edges, and then those edges are triggering this oscillator. I see. So it's, it's like almost like a square wave. That's like it's yeah. The output, the tab is creating this very high contrast image. If we look at just the tabby. We get that, and then that's being used to trigger the oscillator. Oh, that's so cool. So that's its edges are uh, what's causing the, the oscillator to then trigger and create this. So is it channel one of the tabby that you're using, or two? Yeah. I see it's blue. No, these are just, right. these were stuck in here because yeah. you don't have to stick with one um, channel of the tabby, you, you know, if you, like if we look at the output of the tabby directly, it looks like that. If we take the same signal and we run it through two channels of tabby, tabby gabby, it looks like that. And if we run it through three channels of tabby, Then it looks like that already by itself. And then we take that and we feed that into the trigger. Whoa. And that's what we get. Uh, now, if I bring and it down to course I mean to, to uh, that's just how fast this changes the frequency so if I keep if I keep going up to fine and keep pushing it will it go to rainbow zone that no no these the course medium and fine is just how fa how fast this changes the frequency it's okay. it's not the range it's oh, okay, the yeah. speed of this turning okay so okay. when you're in fine you turn this it's 10 slower. times to get somewhere when it's in chorus, you turn this a quarter of a turn to get that same amount. I see. Okay. So it's it's just how sensitive that knob is. That knob's like a rotary encoder, uh, and yeah, it just keeps. Oh, I see. Yeah. When you when you're modulating, because this is modulating that, it's only really giving you a much useful range at the low end of its frequency range. When you get into the high frequencies, it doesn't really do much. Which is why when you're doing modulation, you don't really need a video oscillator to, to do the modulation. You could be using a, a Eurorack audio oscillator to do this kind of modulation. Yeah, yeah. I and see. then you could use another video oscillator to do another high frequency thing modulation. with another audio oscillator to get the modulating curve, to get it. the curve lines. Yeah. Words, like the, yeah. Yeah. So I want, what if I want to take this and I want to modulate um, this rate signal? So like, if I take the can I take the output of here, throw it into the into here to modulate that. Oh, to modulate the overall picture. Yes. Yeah, like so. If I want to, if I want to create that modulated curve effect onto. Um, the well, the mod the phase modulation is happening from this. 
So we get that curve by bringing this up to whatever speed we want and then adjusting the intensity of the curve here. Oh, okay, so it's already happening. I see. And we have the strength of the curve here and then a bias for the curve here. Eric, what happens if you adjust the tabby knobs of those three uh, passes? It's kind of shifting it. Shifting your face yeah. image. Here, now we could, let me take the output of the tabby and let me put it into a DA. And put that there. Take another cable here and put this into the other monitor. So now you can see over here the result of what you're doing with the tabby knobs. And over here you'll see what the tabby is creating in the video oscillator. So so this monitor is showing straight out of the tabby. And then the big monitor is showing the output of the oscillator. Cool. I like rainbows. Is there a pot of gold at the end of those rainbows? We're going to find There's out. a pot of red, green, and blue. <laughs> My name is Eric and I like rainbows. Heavy rainbows. Pretty rainbows. Uh, okay, I'm going to stop.